So today we're going to look at our example of um, a cold environment and the opportunities and challenges in the cold environment. So we have studied Alaska. If we roughly just draw the outline of Alaska to start with. So there's a rough outline of Alaska. There's a few little islands that go off down here. So what opportunities does Alaska have for um, economic development? Well, first of all, there's a huge amount of wildlife that can be found in the waters of Alaska, such as whales, grizzly bears, um, you can even see polar bears. So this has um, encouraged quite a lot of tourism to come and visit, people to come and visit the location, experience the wildlife, and has generated quite a lot of income for um, Alaska. Around 2 million visitors visit each year uh, to see the migrating whales. Many travel by cruise ship, which means not as much money is spent in Alaska as the cruise ships dock or um, dock up in the major settlements and they have made their accommodation obviously on the cruise ships. They don't spend as much money in Alaska. It's less spending in hotels and restaurants, for example. Secondly, obviously you can see it's got a very large coastline, lots of water, and we have a large fishing industry, particularly salmon in Alaska. And so lots of money is generated lots of jobs from fishing. It provides around um, 78,000 jobs and is worth six billion to the state, benefiting the local and the national economy. So they can get income for individuals and jobs, but also um, money through taxes, which can be used to invest and improve services in the local settlements. Another way in which um, there is opportunities in Alaska, although not as important as it once was, is mineral extraction. And mineral extraction basically means mining. And here is our miner with his lovely pick to extract the minerals found in the ground. Gold, silver and copper can be found here. It's not as important as it once was, say in the 1800s, but it still contributes um, to one-fifth of Alaska's wealth. Probably the most significant income that's generated in Alaska, many would argue, is from their oil extraction. So there's a large amount of oil rigs, particularly in the north, around Prude Ho Bay. And oil is extracted as is natural gas. And they transport this from the very north, because you imagine that's quite difficult to get that to the rest of the United States, which is south of Canada. Here is Canada. And they have overcome the challenge of moving the oil. They can obviously um, use it by ship, but that takes a lot of time. And they have built a very large pipeline, the trans atlantic Alaskan pipeline that goes all the way down to Valdez in the south where ships can dock and the oil is put onto the ships and taken off to mainland USA. So these are the major opportunities in Alaska. However, there are challenges that limit how much money can be made for them for these. One um, is the extreme temperature. It is very cold in Alaska particularly in the winter months. And this limits, obviously, tourism opportunities. Tourists are not going to visit in the winter months when it's extremely cold and there's very, very little daylight hours. Building infrastructure, such as roads, railways, and pipelines for water and electricity supplies is very difficult as the ground is frozen. So there's a layer in the ground um, that is permanently frozen, the permafrost. The top layer, 
is the active layer and it can melt in the summer months and that makes it even more tricky to build structures that can survive the winter months and also the summer months because what you can find is that buildings will fall or sink into the ground or subside during the summer months if it's not built properly which is another reason why you've got this pipeline that has been built on stilts so that it doesn't sink into the active layer of the ground during the summer months and also migrating animals can still get across Alaska therefore maintaining the ecosystem. It is very inaccessible in Alaska there's only a few places that have roads and a few places where you can land planes particularly in the winter months again it becomes too icy to travel and so this limits how much economic development can take place. There's large areas of Alaska which are mostly inaccessible. The mountainous areas makes it inaccessible for buildings, delivering materials for construction or um, developing the mining industry or even in the oil industry. So it does mean that economic development isn't as good as it perhaps could be. Now, an area in the north which is protected currently from any development is called Anwar and this area is protected currently from oil drilling and exploitation. It's an area of land that has been identified as important for wildlife and conservation purposes and currently you're not allowed to drill for oil in this location. The Arctic National Wildlife Refuge, ANWR, protects arguably what many say is the last great wilderness. So endangered species are protected in this location. However, in the longer term, with growing pressure for more oil and gas, this could be an area that may be threatened in the future. So in terms of managing this location, we have got one area in the entire area of Alaska that is protected against oil drilling although they know oil could be here and they want to drill for it and they've built the pipeline so that it can safely be moved down to Valdez and taken away. So that is your case study on a cold environment, economic opportunities for development, we have tourism, fishing, mining and arguably most importantly oil drilling particularly as the sea ice melts in the north due to climate change more and more oil drilling may take place offshore as well then we have our challenges extreme cold temperatures and very dark in the winter months the active layer of the soil melting and then into the per and permafrost which is permanently um, frozen below so building structures is quite a challenge and being inaccessible particularly in the winter months, so it's difficult for them to earn money all year round uh, effectively from these range of industries. And managing the um, issues, we have got an example of the pipeline on stilts and Anwar where wildlife is protected at the moment.